Conversation. What's the word for com uh, This is the word for pronoun right here. We call it what? Let's say it. Adama e ru, right? Al Mada. This is a hard D here. Yeah. Al Dama Iru. Adama Iru. Yeah. Iru. Yeah. Al Dama Iru. Yeah. By itself, it's gonna be Al Dama Iru. Mm -hmm. With the Dama you have, it's gonna call Al Dama Iru. But it is Al Dama Iru. Okay. Al Dama Iru. Right. Okay. So this that is the word for pronoun. What is and, the word? And that's plural. This is not singular. Right. This so is plural. singular is Damir. Damir, right. Damir. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's right. Okay, now this to we had the word pronouns on right here, so this is this has to be plural also. Mm. The word for pronouns. Okay. Now we talked about definite and indefinite, right? We said in order for something to be definite, we have to put what? Not all the time. We can put but most of the time we had to put what? Al in front of it. But what about the names like Muhammad, Ahmad, uh, Zaid, you know, so forth and so on? Uh -huh. They are definite too. Yeah. But they don't you don't have to put Al in front of those names. They are definite by itself. By themselves. They are definite by themselves. That's very true. Right. Okay. Can uh, what about Tanween? Yes. Can ten wing only do, does noun has ten wing? Yes. yes. Only nouns what have ten wing, right? Okay. I just want to point those things out. So let's look at this. <clears throat> I think the word here is al kalimu for conversation. Okay. Al kalimu. That's the big word for conversation. So we want to talk about the third person, which we call what? Al Ghaib. Okay. Al Ghaib. And notice the two A's, the elongation right here. Al Ghaib. Ghaib. Id. Id. This is yeah. Ba, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that is the third person. Okay. So we know we got three states, right? When we talk about conversation. If I'm talking to somebody, either I'm talking to you, uh, a third person, second person, and first person, right? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the second person would be called what? Al Mukhatab. Okay. Al Mukhatab. Al Mukhatab. Oh. This is the on the meme. On the meme? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Al Mukhatab. Okay. So this meaning the second person. Write that down. Okay. <clears throat> All right, then we have what we call the first person. Al Mutakalim. Al Mutakalim. Okay. Now, notice these words here, even though they got Al in front of them, look at the ending on here. They have Dhamma. Right? They have to have Dhamma. I cannot have this. I cannot have Tanween. That would be grammatically incorrect. Okay? Uh, if I make it definite, then I have to, this last letter on here, on the word, has to just take one dumb, uh, or, or one fat high, whatever. Okay? <clears throat> All right. Then we talked about pronoun as well as noun having, not only do we have th third, second, and third person, but they also have a gender, right? We need to know whether something is male or feminine, right? Do we have any noodle? Noodle in Arabic? No. No, no noodle, right? No. Okay. So we don't have that. Okay. And we have what we call number. Okay. This is what? How many? Whether something is singular. Uh, form, dual, or uh, plural. Okay? Let's look at something. I'm going to erase this. If I still write, I'm going to erase over here then. On this side here. Let me keep up with the time here. Um, okay, let's do this. Third person. We we'll put up here.
Okay, we're going to put singular. I'm going to just going to abbreviate that here, S-I-N-G for singular. Okay, and we're going to put dual. And of course, plural. This is what we call a detached, detached pronoun. Okay? If we put, okay, who will, okay, which we know is masculine. And what about, what about here? Yeah. Two dots. Okay? So that would be saying he, right, and she. So it's like I'm talking to you, so that makes her, what, third person, right? He or who is third person? He is third person, okay? What if I want to say, I'm sorry, this should have been over here, singular. Let me just... Huma, Huma would be the dual, which meaning two. <clears throat> and that would be for this line here, the masculine, M-A-S, this here is feminine. Okay. So both of them have the same dual. Huma. Huma. I, I shouldn't be saying just like Huma, but Huma. I got the low because I got another A right here. So make sure we pronounce that. Huma instead of Huma. Okay. So. Hum would be plural, right? For, for masculine, right? Okay, huna would be feminine, and that would be plural, right here. Hunna. Hunna, hunna. H-U-N, hun, and then the other E-N-A, na. Hunna, hunna, okay? Now, <clears throat> sometimes you run across, that. this is what we call detached, meaning that they're not connected to the word, right? Okay, then we have what we call attached. What we have here is we have what I got here. Yeah. Would be just what? Who, who? Right? No, and his, his, and his, right, his. Okay. What about him? Right? This would be. Is this would be her, right? Okay. Now, what if I want to say plural form here? But if I want to say theirs or two, T O T W, sorry. Right, nice. So we see that the dual for both masculine and feminine have the same, just about. Well, they do have the same. Okay, so this would be the same for feminine. Okay.
and this is going to be the same for here. So this is singular, this is dual for masculine and feminine, feminine on the bottom right here, and then this is going to be the plural, okay? We want to look at some of these in the, in the Quran also. I want to just jump around. Okay. Okay. Now, what if I want to say for him? For him. I would say what? Lahu. For her. La ha, la ha. Okay. What about the dual form? What would you say for the dual form? For them two. Talking about two of these, and we're gonna look at these in the Quran in a minute. Okay. La huma. That's masculine, right here. La huma. I'm just gonna put, well, same thing. That'd be the same for the dual form, two for feminine. This is heavens are down here. Yeah, the two dots. Okay. So this would be what? E ya who? Yahoo, which is only him, only him. <clears throat> so feminine would be, I'm going to write it up here. This is what? Only them two would be what? Iyahuma. Iyahuma. Okay. Got that? Okay. Now, do this.
All right, look at this statement here. Okay. What would be my pronoun here? What word do I have up here? What, where's my pronoun here? Say it again. This is one here, right? All right. Well, what else? On the end, that text pronoun. Right here? Yeah. Right. So this is what we call, as the brother said, what? An attached pronoun. Because what? It is attached to the word, right? Okay. So this part right here, the H-A would be a pronoun also. Okay. Now, we get the whole sentence. How do we read the whole sentence? Okay, then this is chapter 85, 6, verse 6. So it should is, is meaning when, is, is, okay, when. Then we get the word whom, and then we like the brother said, Aleha. <coughs> And then we have the word what? Say it again. Okay. When they sit around it, see what it says. You find that I don't have the whole verse, I just have a section of that verse. When they were seated over it. When they what brother? They say when they were seated over it. When they were seated over it, or when they said they here, we're looking for the word they. Here, so we said ha, right? A lay over and then day. Okay. All right. Anybody have anything different? Translation. Yes. Um, when they were sitting near it. When they were sitting near it. Okay. Mine said when they sat by the trenches. Okay. So what word do we have up here? Do we have a word up here meaning trenches? Huh? We don't do it. This doesn't mean trenches, right? We know that when, they, right? And then this over, they again, right? Okay, plural, dual, okay, whatever. And then this word here, okay? Forward, sitting. Sitting, sitting. right. So this is the word sitting, and then this is sitting over here. See? So this is what I'm saying. See, so when we look at the Quran, see, we want to have the best translation. So this gives us a way to translate it out. Know what exactly they're saying too. We don't have to rely on that. Even though the brothers or whoever writing the Quran, they're good. There's no, there's no question about it. But sometimes it's not true to the Arabia. What I'm saying. What I'm trying to what I'm trying to get across. It just gives us what do we call it paraphrasing, so to speak. You know, it's, it's still in it, but. We want to be able to just like hit the bull's eye. We don't want to be in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the what they call the word, vicinity, of, you know, of here. We want to hit the bull's eye directly. Okay? Let's look at another one here. Let's say, uh, tell you what, let me just point out in the chapter, in the Quran. Let's go to chapter 7, verse 21. 